Hello everyone. Welcome back. More Yakuza. We're headed back to the Grand after having um, met and uh, used the services of the Fei Hu. I think I'm saying that correctly. Uh, from the Dragon and Tiger. They apparently forge illicit arms for people. I have no time for you. I have no time for side quests. Leave me alone. Yeah, keep walking. Oh my god. What? You can't have my eye patch. It's mine. You want my shoes? Can't have those either. They're very expensive. That's an odd way to say that, but, uh, okay. <laughs> what? Aren't you a little young for me? Um. That's an odd thing to say. Um. <laughs> um. And that girl in the background is just sees what's going on here and decided to just turn around and walk away. <laughs> odd from him because he usually understands people fairly well. <laughs> yeah, say that exactly. Yeah, give her a strong answer of I don't like women at all. Not an answer for her, apparently. Yes, you have not told us anything whatsoever. Oh. That that would uh that was a, a critical piece of information I believe we should have gotten beforehand. you've been lying to your father about having the boyfriend? Oh, I see. Uh, this, th this could in no way go badly for us. Y you told him all of that? Why would you... Have you seen us at the club before, or...? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Are we not a little old for this lady? Maybe I'm misjudging how old she is. She doesn't look very old. And we look like we're in our 30s or something, so... Eh, but I guess it's perhaps not as uh, odd to have age differences like that. I don't know. We 
doing it, everyone. Screw the main plot line. I don't care. The main plot can just wait. True. We can do it. We are a nice person. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how she had held out any hope for finding somebody who looks like what she described. We have to hope that her father, I suppose, does not uh, know who we are. Because if he is, that might uh, that might be an issue. <laughs> That's right, man. Come on, try and keep up. It's going to be really funny if this is all bull crap and she just really wants a boyfriend that badly. <laughs> after she uh, after she works up the nerves to do something, she uh, really gets and become goes and becomes a uh, take charge type of person. We have an extended conversation. This is going to go horribly. Uh, should we? Should we? Perhaps discuss like details about each other, like uh, like how we met, or what your favorite food is, or uh, color, or <laughs> uh, any of that. I know nothing at all about you. No, no anger, no uh, pretending re revelations. Okay. I don't think she's being truthful with us. Oh, so that's why he's been trying to set her up. He doesn't think she's uh, good. She's uh, uh, got the attitude and the mentality to actually pick up a guy by herself. So no saying weird things. I just have to hope I know what the weird thing is and don't pick it. Oh. Yeah, okay, so she did have a she did have a whole backstory saved up and ready. I figured there'd be something like that. And now we have to really hope he doesn't know who we are, be, know that know our name, because now she's saying that we're a dentist. Uh, just give me a second, everyone. I'm writing down these little details she's given us. Uh, she said you've been going off for six months. That you're a dentist who likes driving and movies, and that your favorite food is omelet rice. <laughs> yeah, he can't exactly write it down like I can. Poor guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. I could probably remember that at all anyway, but I better write it down just in case. You never know. Sometimes, sometimes you'll blank on something and then 
then we'd be screwed. I gotta make up for the, uh, I have to make up for the uh, damn janky uh, side quest I screwed up. Yeah, I was gonna say, he seems a lot more, uh, kind of put together and, uh, kind of office businessman type uh, personality. I should have came up with a fake name for me. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, you do a pretty good job of just pretending to be like a really nice and caring manager of a business when you're there, so acting shouldn't be that big of a deal for you. Please make my miso soup every morning. <laughs> um, I wonder if fa father's probably a little too fo too forward. I would think it might freak him out a little bit. Let's just go with this. She does. She's a very caring woman. She's always concerned with our well-being, making sure we're good and happy. That's right. We uh, were a Yakuza who uh, runs a nightclub. Like, not, not many people can say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I can understand why you would be doubtful. Kind of weird, weird she would include that last thing in the guy she's trying to sell to her father. I wouldn't have believed it either. Uh, honestly. I think we're all shocked here. Oh no, you do. You make things up all the time. I agree with your father. Just the other day, she was trying to sell me on some kind of nonsense. Yeah, she she tried to tell me something just outrageous about a duck stealing the wallet out of like some guy's pocket. It was crazy. Uh-oh. We can't remember this. It's doomed. We've ruined everything already. I manage a cabaret. I'm a Yakuza. I should I should come forward and be another Yakuza. I'm sure that would put him at ease. Yeah. Well, if the answer is going to be that obvious every time, maybe I didn't need to write down anything after all. We obviously should not have told him we were when we were a yakuza. I take my profession very seriously, sir. <laughs> Heck, job of a backstory, yeah. Uh while she has a wild imagination, she also seems to have her ma imagination fire all over the place and just kind of hit random targets all over the place.
<laughs> she didn't tell us that, did she? She told us we met six months ago, but that's it. <laughs> that seems like a fairly reasonable thing to ask. Let's see. Oh, I like watching movies a lot. Uh, she said that I like watching movies a lot, so saying that we met at the movie could kind of cover that. There you go. Yep. Aha, that's some quick thinking. Yeah, very nice. exactly how it happened. Hm. Is your daughter in the habit of going to places she shouldn't? Yeah, we should have said we met her at the dentist office. She came in to get a tooth... Uh, teeth cleaning, and that's how we went. Wow, that's really forward. Holy cow. Especially in front of her, like, we, we, like we're supposed to say these kinds of things right in front of her like that? She's going to get embarrassed now. He's just a caring father, see? He's just, he's just a little overbearing, that's all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, he's uh he's really going deep he's really uh probing deep here. Let's just go with the cooking. Yeah, let's go with the uh, the omelet rice because we love it so much. She cooked for us and it just really uh, caught our heart. Yep. Oh. Did I screw up? I screwed up. Oh no. <laughs> God dang it. Huh? Why would you say that? Why? Oh God, I, I knew that was a kind of a stupid answer. I shouldn't have done it. Ugh. Oh well. Oh, he knew it anyway. The jig is up. No, we promised we would try and stick with it, so. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty keen observer, apparently. That's true, she was acting a little bit strange.
Yeah, you've been, you've been, you've been a little overbearing. Uh, that was the story she told us. Yes. That's a sign that they have a good relationship. Oh, cue the, cue the dramatic music. Oh yeah. People look down on you for not for your mother being dead. That's a uh, bullcrap. This is a true statement. I would advise that as well, sir. She doesn't seem to uh, care for it very much. It's very hard. It's a very hard thing for. Uh, follow the do I would assume but uh, you gotta do it sometimes <laughs> Is it, was that just have some fun oh you so you're using this as practice <laughs> okay sure <laughs> sure thing dude sounds good to me it's reasonable theory maybe she really does want a boyfriend she just doesn't know how to get one no that's the reason okay sure why not I'm not very good <laughs> I'm not incredibly good at reading people apparently She doesn't want you to worry, man. She just wants you to be happy. Oh, we totally did. Are we going to let him, let her believe that we still are keeping up this lie? kind of what I figured. <laughs> of course. That's the best thing ever. Oh, man. I'm, I'm still... Still a little frustrated at screwing up that one question. I, I kind of thought that uh, just liking her food was kind of a flimsy reason to want to be with her like that, but I mean, some some relationships are based on that. Some woman's uh, cooking just really. There's her, her dad smoking right behind us. Look, we're talking. Whatever. Okay. I appreciate it. I, you're being kind. You're, you're just being kind to me. Five pieces of fluorite. Why did you have five pieces of fluorite in your pocket? Yeah, okay, so there is him back there. We're, we're, we're kind of close to him to be talking about faking this whole thing. But whatever. Hi. Bye bye. Oh. 
is he going to give us a reward as well? Uh, is it to be a better liar? I am a good guy. Thank you for saying so. Yeah. Give me the was to try to help her out. Oh my god. He's still trying to set her up with people. Come on, dude. That's what you got in trouble for in the first place. I don't understand what, what's even going through your head right now, man. <laughs> he got the crazy, he's got the crazy eyes going on. Back up, just back up slowly and, and get away from him. Oh my, um, I don't, sir, I don't, uh, I don't think that's a... I don't think it's appropriate, sir. You guys are crazy. This whole family is crazy. <sighs> You're a bunch of crazy people. What is wrong with you guys? Okay, so, yeah, so we'll, uh, oopsie daisy, we'll go back to the dragon and tiger and see what they got for us, and then we'll save, and, uh, maybe I can get back to the main storyline. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> another side quest, god. <sighs> I'll, I'll come back to you later. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't walk two feet without getting a side quest. Oh my god. Hello. I like my equipment now. Um. Cool. What is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is an amazing way to tell you how how well his little gathering went. Holy cow! So he got steel, lead ingots, uh, the recipe for a bat, and a dagger. I appreciate all that. And we could, I think we can do the crafting here too. Thank you. He apparently uh, got, got attacked by the person in the Spice and Thugs at the, on the, the trip, so he did very well, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yep, I got it. Yeah, I got spare parts. Hooray, iron gears. What in the holy hell would I need iron gears for? Cursed handcuffs? What is... Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. I got it. 
Uh. Yeah, there's lots of money. Oh, did he forget the eggs again? Oh. How do you keep your restaurant open? How do you how do you do this? Mm. Fair enough. Uh. Uh, something else I was wanting to look at was, um, what was it? Their fluoride or whatever. Oh, there's a cutscene. Yeah, okay. So. Oh, okay, it's kept in a whole separate area. That's good. I thought it was going to clog up my inventory and that would have just been the worst. That's a strange crafting thing, but, uh, sure. Okay, uh, well, I know last time I said we would go to the main story, but apparently that's not going to be the case. Uh, so, join me next time, where we will maybe do the main story. I, I don't feel confident telling you guys that that's going to happen anymore, because uh, apparently I just keep running the side quests. Uh, in any case, uh, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>